So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, Eddie Hearn, the promoter of IBF, WBA and IBO champion Anthony Joshua says that if he rematches Vladimir Klitschko in another heavyweight showdown, that the fight will not be in the United Kingdom and that it will be abroad, either in Las Vegas, which is the favourite, and Nigeria. <laughs> and he says if the fight doesn't materialise with Vladimir Klitschko, then he's got the Principality Stadium in Cardiff on hold for October 28th to, so Anthony Joshua can fight his mandatory challenger Kubrat Pulev. And I'm going to quote Eddie Hearn here talking to the Daily Mirror. He says, Vegas is the front runner. The next two weeks will settle it. I believe Klitschko will do it if it's abroad, but I don't think he wants to box in Cardiff. I think he feels he's done that. He enjoyed it last time and he wants it to be a big event. I don't think a bit more money makes any difference to him. He could be Vegas. It could be Nigeria. But the logistics are much more straightforward with Vegas. If we don't fight him, it will be Pulev on October 28th in Cardiff. So, yeah, they're the words of Eddie Hearn speaking to the Daily Mirror. I feel like a lot of British fans will be disappointed if this fight is going to be announced in Vegas or Nigeria because I don't think British fans will want to wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning to watch Anthony Joshua when they're used to watching him at 9, 10 o'clock at night. They can go out to the pub with their friends and stuff like that and watch the Anthony Joshua fight or have friends around the house and they can all sit and watch the Anthony Joshua fights. So, it being at 4 or 5 in the morning, I feel like a lot of people will be disappointed by that. And, especially as well, people can't actually go to the Anthony Joshua fight physically. Like, last time, 90,000 people went to watch Anthony Joshua and people were saying it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And people thought with the rematch that they get to do that again. But if it's in Vegas, then people will be disappointed. They can't travel to the fight in the UK. Don't get me wrong, I think Anthony Joshua will take a lot of fans to America. Maybe not on the level that Ricky Hatton did against Floyd Mayweather, but I don't know. With Anthony Joshua, I feel like a lot of people will go and watch that fight. Like, I really do, in Vegas. And I feel, though, even though Anthony Joshua is a massive star in British sport, I feel like he is becoming a big star in world sport as well. But I feel like the fight in the US will really raise his profile. And even if he defeats Vladimir Klitschko in the rematch again then um, it can set up a fight with American heavyweight champion John A. Wilder if he's over there in the United States raising his profile. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on Anthony Joshua with Vladimir Klitschko in the rematch. But does Vladimir Klitschko want the rematch? That's my opinion because it's taking him so long to the side. It feels like he's stalling for time a little bit, Vladimir Klitschko, because he's still not sure if he feels like he should take this fight. Because I think he gave it his all last time. Vladimir Klitschko showed a lot of heart in the fight with Anthony Joshua. Like, he was an old dog in there. He just wouldn't die. He just kept coming back and fighting Anthony Joshua. Nearly got him out of there in the sixth round. And Vladimir Klitschko is a fighter who's never really showed any heart in his career, to be honest. Like, he's a guy who was a long-reigning champion for so long. Dominated. But everything was always on his terms. And from the gloves to the ring... And he was clinching a lot in fights. He was allowed to get away with stuff like that. And whenever he was taken out of his comfort zone or it was ever stuck on him, he kind of fell to bits. Vladimir Klitschko, we've seen that a couple of times in his career. But in the Anthony Joshua fight, when it was getting on top for him, he showed a lot of heart. And that was the first time we've probably ever seen that from Vladimir Klitschko. But will he be able to do that again? Will he be able to show that kind of heart again? Will he be able to get up and train as hard as he did the first time around for the Anthony Joshua fight? I'm not too sure about it. But if he doesn't take the rematch, if he says, you know what, I give it a go. I nearly had him out of there, but the younger guy beat me. So it is what it is. I'm going to let him have his time. Then Anthony Joshua will have to fight Kubat Pulev. And a lot of people are going to be groaning at that fight. But at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua's got to fight his mandatory challengers. You want champions to fight the mandatories. Like, people complain about it all the time. But as soon as it's a manager, people don't want to see. People start groaning. But even though I think Anthony Joshua beats Kubat Pulev convincingly, don't get me wrong, Kubat Pulev is a decent fighter. He's got a, de he's got a decent jab. He's a decent boxer in there, technically. 
he hasn't really got loads of power not compared to an Anthony Joshua so I think Anthony Joshua would just be too big for him and too strong so it is what it is what do you guys think of the situation do you think this fight should be abroad or do you guys want to see it in the UK do you think it's inconvenient to the UK fans just comment below in the comment section it's JMS Beatboxing